Hi, my name is Phil. I'm here at the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, home of the old Hartford Whalers, now the Hartford Wolfpack, and you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Welcome back to another video. We're going to do a trivia this time. We did trivia a couple of weeks ago. I think it was maybe about three weeks ago. Yeah, about that. Uh, so I thought, you know, people really liked that. They commented a lot. They had some fun with it. So why not do another one? This is just going to be 10 questions, 10 questions, and it's going to all be about... The NF NHL playoffs. I almost said NFL playoffs. <laughs> Super Bowls today as we're filming yeah. this. So, uh, are you prepared for your for this trivia? How is your playoff knowledge? Um, not great. Not great. Not great. Uh, what I I seem to have a, a very poor short term memory. I happen to know who won the Stanley Cup last year and the two previous years. Okay. But beyond that, I get foggy. All right, I that, really do. So that's okay. Uh, there's some long-term memory questions. In okay, here, which good, might... because that's basically all I have left. All right, sounds good. <laughs> so like I said, there is 10 questions. The final two questions are pretty difficult. I actually don't expect you to get them, but uh, okay. I wanted to ask them because I know there's lots of smart hockey people out there watching as well. So uh, let's have some fun with this. Are you ready? It's all about the viewer. That's right. Right on. All set? Yep. All right, question number one. Do it. And I hope I want you guys to play along too. Record your answers and, and uh, tell me them in the comments below um, and see if you can beat them. All right. I won't jump in with, if, even if I think I know the answer, I'll pause for a few yeah. seconds to Maybe allow. Five seconds, something like that. Five. Okay. All right. Question number one. In 1972, Boston won the Stanley Cup and defeating, and they, they defeated which team? In 1972. I, I want to say St. Louis because St. Louis was the opponent from the West in those early expansion years after 68. But I think by then other teams were starting to do a little better coming out of the West. My my head says St. Louis, but I'm going to say something weird like Minnesota North Stars. The correct answer is the New York Rangers. Okay. How does that happen? I don't know. Because I, I do remember that St. Louis was out in like 67, 68, 69 or something yeah. like that. And uh, maybe it had switched by then. Yeah, maybe, or, the, and they, they could have changed the format too, because yeah. to have two finalists, two original six, yeah. original six finalists, really uh, three hours apart. Mm. Well, more than three, but mm. their markets touch each other. I guess I should say that's right. Anyways, wow, very good. Yeah. Okay. Question number two. All right. In 1999, Buffalo went to the Stanley Cup final to eventually lose to Dallas. What team did Buffalo defeat in the conference finals to advance to the Stanley Cup finals? 1992, you said? 1999. 1999. Oh, man. I forgot. I, I knew Buffalo had made it because of the whole skate, skate in the grease yeah. business. But uh, how'd they got there? 99. I actually would have got this one wrong. I didn't. I couldn't remember the team. I certainly don't remember, uh, but I'm going to guess Pittsburgh. The correct answer is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Really? Yes. Toronto was that close in 99? They were, yeah. Well, that's hard on the head. Went the, <laughs> they went to the conference finals. Okay. Wow, okay. Question number three. Who coached the Pittsburgh Penguins to their cup in 1992? Oh, man. It was a different coach than they had in 1991 when they won the Stanley Cup. Really? Yeah. According to Wikipedia. Well, Wikipedia is always right, uh, except for the piece about me. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, this is well before the Bilesma era, right? Well before. Well, right. well before. So we're looking at, like, I'm going to say Eddie Johnston. Okay. Okay. I. It's all right. The correct answer is Scotty Bowman. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And who was the previous year? I have no idea. It's not Scotty Bowman. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> wow. Really? I didn't know that till today. I didn't know that until just this minute, actually. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't following hockey at the time. Uh, or not closely, just yeah. my, my team, and my team was That's right. had some severe suckage uh, through a lot <laughs> of that period. Uh, yeah, well, mm. son of a gun. All right, question number four. 
Okay. Which pair of brothers combined to score the most playoff goals at 131? Was it A, Wayne and Brent Gretzky? B, Maurice and Henry Richard? C, Peter and Anton Stastny? Oh. Well, Maurice and Henri Richard had a lot more opportunity to be in playoff games. Uh, Peter and Anton Stastny, they would be playing for the Nordiques at the time. I don't know if the Nordiques were in the playoffs enough times when they were there through the 80s to score that many goals. I don't know if, I know Brent Gretzky scored like half a goal one time, but I don't think he ever did in the playoffs. And But Wayne now, exactly, it's a Wayne question. would have scored a, a, a buttload of goals, but did Brent score any? Was he ever in the playoffs? Because I think if, if Brett's team never got in the playoffs, it would be an unfair question because I would think that each brother would need to contribute at least one goal to the total. So I'm going to say rocket in the pocket. You are correct. Okay. Yes, you are correct. So you got that one right. You're one for four. One for four. Uh, that was B, by the way. Question number five. What original six team was the first to be upset by an expansion team in the playoffs? Oh, wow. We're talking, I think it's early. It's like. I can give you the year. Please. 1974. Okay. That's uh, that's what I was thinking because the Montreal's big run started in 75. So you have a one in six chance of getting this. I have a one in six chance Correct. of getting this. Lost in the finals. No. Uh, what original six team was the first to be upset by an expansion team in the playoffs? In the playoffs. It could be oh. first round, could be whatever. Okay. Sorry. Um. Minnesota was strong in those earlier years, um, but the team that they would have beaten if they if it was indeed them, I'm going to say Detroit. The correct answer is the New York Rangers. Oh, and who who uh, who got them? I do not know. I do not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Question number six: The Edmonton Oilers won the Stanley Cup in 1990. Who did they defeat in the Stanley Cup Finals? Oh, man. 1990. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh lost and then won a couple. Uh, And I think that loss was considered by some to be a motivating factor. So I'm going to say the Penguins. Okay. Uh, you got the colors right. It's actually the Boston Bruins. <laughs> All right. You are one, four, six. Yeah. Question number seven. In the 1976-77 NHL season, the Montreal Canadiens won the Stanley Cup. What team was the only team to win a playoff game against them that year? And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was in the first round. I think... Uh, I'm going to say the Islanders. I don't know. If you can guess the, if you want to stick with the first round, I'll give you bonus points. Like if you want, if you pick the right round, I'll give you bonus points. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the correct answer is the Islanders. Okay, but it wasn't the first round. No, it was the no. second round. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it was the Islanders. They actually won two games against Montreal that Did year. Did they? Yep. That's the only two games Montreal Canadiens lost in the playoffs that year. Unreal. Question number eight. You're two for seven, by the way. Uh, which player in the 2009 playoffs got 36 points in 24 games played? 2009. I don't even know what teams. Like, obviously, the player with that many points would likely be on a team that made the finals, whether they won or not, because he'd Pittsburgh have to play. Pittsburgh and Detroit played in the finals in 2009. Wow. 36 points in 24 games. Man. Well, the the uh, the obvious response would be Crosby, because he was on fire at that point, still is. Um, but that's maybe too obvious. So I'm going to say Malkin. The correct answer is Evgeny Malkin. Oh, oh, oh. well done. <laughs> <laughs> Total guess. I did not know well that. Well done. Three for eight. Yeah. Okay. So here's the really two really really hard questions. Starting with number nine. 
And both of these questions have to do with each other. Okay, question number nine. From 1990 to 2010, which goalie had the best playoff save percentage and goals against average? Uh, and they had the condition is they had to win at least eight playoff games. Now, this goalie just happened to have the best save percentage and goals against average. Best in both categories. For the 20-year period. For the 20-year period. It's not obvious who that would be. Um, my first go-to answer would be Martin Brodeur because he played a lot during that period, and mm-hmm. he's in the playoffs a lot, and he was very good. Um, I can tell you that it would have been Marty Turco, but he played. He only played seven games, not eight, so he didn't make it by the second round. So playing eight games in a season, is that the, the criteria? In a playoff. In a- Yeah, there, there's there's Vernon and there's Hasek. There's all kinds of people that would it's, have played really it's a hard well. Question. It is a hard it's question. It's a hard question. I'm going to stick with Brodeur, but with a very low level of confidence. Okay. The correct answer is Patrick Laleem. What? In 2001, 2002, uh, he had 12 games played. He was a .946 save percentage, and had, his goals against average was 1.39. <laughs> oh my God! That's so. So, I thought you meant a goalie that played the entire twenty-year span, or was just in, the... in one playoffs. Okay, sorry. I didn't quite understand the question, but it wouldn't help me if I did. So, okay, sorry yeah. about that. No, it's not. I'm not saying I'm not crying foul. <laughs> okay, um, question number ten from 1990 to 2010. Which defenseman had 34 points in 23 games in one playoff year? 1990 to 2010. 2010. One defenseman had 34 points in 23 games in a playoff run. Who was it? I'll say Nicholas Lidstrom. Not a bad guess at all. It happened in 1994, though. Oh. Give me a second, then. I'm trying to think of the Rangers D, D back then, but I can't. I, I don't know. The correct answer is Brian Leach. Brian Leach. You did pretty good, though. You got uh, 3 out of 10. Yeah. 4 out of 10, 3 out of 10. That's a those, great those, point average. Of no, but some of those questions were really, four. really hard. So it, Yeah. That it, was a lot of fun. I, I enjoy those. Yeah, it's trivia's always fun. And uh, it was fair because you gave me some questions for back from when I was following hockey more closely, too. Exactly. And I, just, I tried to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's all right. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. I hope you got a chance to play along, and uh, let us know your answers down below and and uh, tell us how you did. We read all the comments. If you're not subscribed, hope you can hit the subscribe button for more fun videos in the future, and hope you're having a good day. See ya. Adios. Adios.